Good evening, folks. Billy Lockwell here with Server 9 News. Welcome to the evening news program in which we cover things that probably aren't relevant to your world or interests. Mmm. I love a good coffee. Definitely coffee. All right. Uh, at the top of the uh, news hour here, two young boys from the San Francisco Bay Area along with some local tech lords apparently working on a little-known project known as Hypercube Online coming to a Twitch stream near you on Tuesdays, 6.30 Pacific Coast Time. That's on the West Coast. Uh, in the nearing weeks, they will be debuting some technology that will allow six to eight players to simulate a Hypercube experience all online, really taking that 2D into a 3D television program. Who the fuck wrote that line? Get him out! Get him the fuck out! <sighs> Moving on to some smaller news. Definitely larger news, but we'll call it news right in the middle. Uh, Nationals will be hosted in San Francisco Bay Area November 3rd and 4th, bringing in the world's top talent in the Netrunner community. We shall see memes, dreams, absolutely no creams, and definitely one stream coming from local reporter CTZ. And now... Let's, uh, fuck it. Who cares? I don't know. Give it, give it over to old Busto. Old bu Busto with the weather. Wow. Thank, thanks. Thanks for that. Um, I don't know what to gather from that, but uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna move right along there, graduating to uh, somehow possibly better the sports report from uh, Easy Mark. Thanks, Billy. We're gonna, let's crush some beers later, all right? Okay. No, look. I don't wanna. I don't wanna stand up here on a on a soapbox, but um, I'm going to. I'm going to. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna give y'all a pep talk. Pep talk that y'all need to hear. Okay, listen. Y'all are a bunch of fucking complainers. Okay, all you. All you. Not me. All you. All right. Oh, give us new NWL. Oh, change your game. Oh, give us new cards. Bunch of fucking whiners, all you. Back in my day, you know what we did? You know what we did in our meta? Two weeks before the regional, we didn't know if Lotus Field was going to come out or not. That was a big fucking deal. All those Kate nerds, but it didn't matter. We didn't know. We adapted, okay? We did cool shit, like have complete and utter free access to De Decoy since core set number one. And yet, none of us played it, okay? We did get C scores for two years, but none of us played that fucking card. You know why? Because that's for quitters. That's for avoiders. Right here, Mark Easy, Easy Mark. We don't do that shit around here, okay? Look. We're looking for top, top quality plays. No, none of these whiners, none of these complainers. Just real, good, dirty, fun, hard, sweaty, fascinating play. Like this one. You want to see? You want to see excellence? You want to smell what a data pack, a fresh cracked data pack smells like? Sheer excellence. Fucking take a look at this. Roll that shit.
You see that kind of shit right there? Yeah. That's excellence. That's my fucking Netrunner right there. Simple tricks to screw up you schemers, okay? Love the game. Love the game. That's what I want to see. That's what we're fucking missing here. Real, sweaty, hot, firm, deep, heavy. Love for the game. Love for the game. Billy, I'll see you later. Thanks, Mark. No, no underlying tones there. No historical family issues, nor past steadily creeping into your modern life and ruining just little bits over and over and over again. Nope. Full confidence, full stop. Very good. And uh, in a similar nature to no underlying spookiness tones, previous family problems, drinking problems, social anxiety, uh, inability to trust others, uh, I'd like to... Uh, Sure, why not? Let's just uh, let's hand it over to Frank. Frank, uh, what do you what do you have for us this week? Thank you, Billy. As my time in the force of twelve point five years has led me to understand, it is very, very important to review the footage. Take every detail, every breath, every step, every chip placement, everything. It all matters. As I told you previously, Mr. Andrews was under heavy suspicion. I pushed, I pushed, I pushed. Omar click one, Omar click one, Omar click one. Apocalypse. Bring me to the person. Mr. Andrews kept it cool, constantly shoving me away, but when the time mattered, he cleared his name. I can't believe I missed it the first time. A simple code given to me, but by the time I realized it, it was too late.